Okay, so this is Linda D'Souza, 29, who was charged with misconduct in public office by the police because she was having with an inmate in Wandsworth, which is a prison in southwest London. Now, what makes this story even crazier is the fact that she was married. This is her husband right here. But what makes it even worse than that is not only is she married, but apparently they have a kid together. So this is her TikTok. She also is apparently, or they're both swingers, and she has an OnlyFans. And this is what I saw on Twitter. Okay, I'm not going to post a video, obviously, but go on Twitter, type in Prison Guard, and it's all there for you to see. This is the guy filming it and supposedly guarding the door while smoking a joint. Prison for you, 2024 in England, yeah? Do you think this guy leaked it? Because somebody said, I don't understand why you would ruin a good thing. Jealousy is an ugly emotion. That's if he leaked it. The other possibility is she could have leaked it. This could have been part of her and her husband's plan all along. Do this, go viral, get arrested, probably get a slap on the wrist. Nothing serious is going to come of this, knowing England. And then her OnlyFans will just explode and she'll make a ton of money. And you know what? People do crazy stuff, haven't they? People have done crazier things in the past for money and clout. So I'm pretty sure someone who's willing to sleep with an inmate is also willing to ruin her kids kid's life for a bit of money so i wouldn't put that past her so let me know what you guys think down below she is due to appear in court tomorrow anyway so we'll find out what happens pretty insane stuff this is what her sister said she's a swinger i only found out that she works for the prison service in january that's when i spoke to her and said do not mix your lifestyle with work don't be stupid don't do stupid things let me actually play this video this is her and her husband doing some challenge on tiktok what are you saying sprite challenge this ain't sprite but this seven up but same thing in it, same thing. Like I'm I'm shook, you know, I'm not gonna oh, lie to you. I'm shook. Like you know when you go to McDonald's and then you get the and you get the sprite and it, it's hits you at the back of the throat. Mm. It's like maybe little mini atomic bombs Do you know what you should win you know because you drink fizzy drinks every day. Yeah, like no. But that makes it worse because that means my stomach is ruined because of fizzy drinks. Oh look at that bubbles, <laughs> right? It's cold as well! Someone said, how is Nathan taking it? I'm assuming that's the husband. Swinging is one thing, but that was just getting bounced in a cell. And then someone said, can you do top 10 prisoners? Ah. She then posted this. When I get invited to my white friend's house for motive. Good evening, Rev. I would like a bag of sweets, please, Rev. And some lip balm, please. Also, I would like a can of Fanta Light, please, Rev. Much appreciated, Rev. Can I get an inmate, bruv? Ah. Okay, so this was her original TikTok, which has now gone private, and then there's apparently a new one, and it says, other TikTok got hacked, I'll be here. I don't know if this is actually her or if someone's trolling. If this isn't her, then maybe she did not want to get caught, and that's why she's gone private. But if she has been hacked and she just made a new one, then yeah, this was part of the plan all along. The most recent post, 1 million views, says, I hated the job anyway. Amen. 2024. Amen. Amen. Anyway, whatever happens, we can all agree on one thing. The prison system in the UK is a complete joke. See, is this a prison or a holiday camp? Someone said I just booked up to visit here for a week next July. I can't wait. This is actually a different woman and she's just in there smoking weed with the inmates crazy stuff and this is the most british comment i think i've ever read she's definitely been rogered more times than a policeman's radio ah. look at this joke man try to move to you ugly look at this ugly you ugly you move move from my fucking door man whoa calm down jamal don't pull out the nine <laughs> people always have the debate that you shouldn't have women on the front line i think the first thing they need to do is like i'm not saying get rid of women from prisons but maybe don't have like five foot nothing small little girls as wardens in prisons full of six foot plus male criminals like how is that ever going to be a good idea it's not is it it's absolutely insane so yeah sort that out first of all